Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to work on this unique chair and we are going to learn how we can model this and use this in our project. So let's just kick off. Click on new families here. There are three options here that you can use. You can either use furniture or generic model floor base or generic model. I'm going to work on furniture. As always, first we are going to set our unit. Press UN and from length change your unit to metric and put rounding on to decimal. However, this family is not parametric and we are not going to use annotation and parameters for it, but we are going to use reference line and also annotation just to have the exact number and like measurements for our furniture. So click on reference line and in ref level create a rectangle. Go to annotation and select aligned. Click here center line and this part. Make them equal and do the same for this side. Create another one to see its exact number here and here. You can change these numbers according to your model. So I think this could be good for me. We're going to start with these two legs here and then these two. After that, we're going to create this part and then the circular part and these ropes around it. And at the end, we're going to work on this part. Go to create and select swift blend now as you know we have a few parts here we have a line or a path which we can either sketch with this one or if you have it already you can use this to pick it then we have two different profiles here one is at the beginning of our path and another one is at the end of it and we can either load a profile to using both of them or we can do a one for each of them and they can be different from each other now for creating our leg we are going to use a sketch pass and we are going to create a line here something like this finish this and now we have two profiles here. We are going to create one in this part and another one in this part. Select profile one and click on edit profile. Choose the view that you can work on. I'm going to use floor plan. It's in the middle, but we're going to move this, so don't worry. Create your profile here. I'm going to use circle to create one in this part okay hit finish and select profile 2 go to edit profile and in this part i'm going to create a circle again but a bit bigger a bit larger and hit finish let's see what we did okay now go to ref level and move your object to this corner adjust it carefully with these two reference lines select it again hit mirror you can use either one of them and draw a line on exactly this center line so you can copy to other corner now you can always change this if you're not okay with this distance and i'm going to change it if it's not okay at the end but for now let's continue with other legs we are going to repeat exactly the same process but we are going to make them a bit bigger and longer so go to right view and create suit blend sketch pass and draw a line here hit finish Select profile 1, edit profile and go to floor plan, open view. In here, select circle and draw your circle here. Select profile 2, edit profile, select circle and create your circle here. And OK. Well, I think this time we need to change this profile. Select it, go to edit and select profile one edit profile go to ref level it is smaller well it looks better select it and go to ref level move this to this corner select it again and use mirror to copy this to the other corner well you can also go to front view and rotate them a little bit here select rotate and change its place to this part for its angle you can either give it a number 
or just move it manually to something like this I don't want to rotate this too much so I'm going to use two okay and just do the same for this part now to have a better clean model we can change these parts according to the location of our circle here for this part, you can insert a picture of your furniture to your Revit. So go to insert and select import image. Find your image and just import it. Change its size. Select reference line and create a line exactly on this part. Now you can delete your picture. Okay. Go to create again and this time select void forms. Void are things that we can use to cut our shape and um, we are going to use void extrusion and create this simple rectangle here hit finish go to 3d and if you move this to this part you can see that your void doesn't work in this case we are going to use cut but this option only works when you have only one object and one void so we can't use this void for all of these four parts so we are going to either copy this void for each one of them or if it doesn't work again we are going to create voids for each one of them so let's first copy this and paste same place and move this to this part then select it again and copy it to same place move it down and this one up we can't see it but we have it here do the same for this part move this up and this part down also this is the reason so as you can see cut works here click on cut select your object and then your void and again click on cut select your object and then your void now if you go to right view you have these edges here now let's continue with the rest of our furniture go to create and select sweep this is exactly like sweep blend but in this part we only have one profile and one sketch pass so draw your sketch from here to this side hit finish then click on edit profile go to right view and in here you can either create a rectangle and fill at its edge or you can just do something like this in this part so it better match with legs we're going to draw it here but we can rotate or move this create rectangle here and use this start and radius arc click here and then here and this part and do the same for other side okay i think it's a bit big so let's scale this a little bit to something like this okay now select it and move it to this side put your visual style on wireframe and in here you can rotate it okay go to ref level and use mirror to copy this to other side click on mirror and then the center line and there you go now we're going to do the same for this part and this part and also we have another part here where these ropes are attached to this and we're going to just use the same technique for all of them you can either go to create and create a new sweep for this part from here to here or you can copy this part that we had already created select this go to ref level copy this to center and then click on rotate and rotate it 90 degrees okay now select it again and move this to this part and select it and use mirror and for the middle line select this part and copy this to here now it's time for hardest part i'm just kidding it's simple if you look at this circle it's pretty easy to create we just need to use sweep and rotate but if you want to create these parts here it will be so hard to model them around this circle so we are going to do all of these parts on our floor plan and then we are going to rotate all of them together 
Before we start modeling circle, we need to have an approximate number for its diameter. So first we need to test it. Go to create and extrusion. We need to set our work plane on this reference line or on these parts that we had cut. So click on set and then use pick line. And now as you can see, you can either select one of these parts of your reference plane. You can press tab if you want to change them or you can use this edge. Click on it and press show if you want to see it okay now whatever we create we're going to create on this surface so let's create our circle go to ref level or top view from this part and just draw your circle okay this looks good and kind of fit to our furniture and our family so we're going to have approximately 60 centimeter for our radius go to ref level and from create select sweep for our pass we are going to use circle so click on circle here and create one with approximately 60 centimeter radius okay hit finish go to edit profile either left or right now for this part we are going to use rectangle and fillet create your rectangle here use this fillet option here and don't forget to change these numbers and make all of them equal and hit finish it looks good for now and we can always change it. for creating these ropes we are again going to use sweep go to right view and then select sweep draw your sketch around your circle you can use this rectangle with offset now use fillet for this edge hit finish click on edit profile go to front view and in this part create a rectangle just a little rectangle something like this and let's see how it looks like okay move this to the center of your circle now this is our rope here and now we can copy this easily so go to ref level and click on array put it on circular and make sure it's on last change its place to this center and just click to this part okay you might need to try this a few times so you find the perfect place to copy your object finally it looks good now select all of them press ungroup and mirror them like this go to ref level and again use mirror to copy them for this part okay now select all of them go to filter and make sure all of them are furniture and then go to right view first move this from its leg to approximately here Put it exactly on this edge now click on rotate and place and use this point to change its location so first click on your circle here and then move it to this edge so now go to ref level and move this to this location let's check it in this part you might need to select all of them and move them to adjust them with these legs and also we are going to delete these parts now we are going to work on another series of these for this part so just simply go to right view click on create then flip sketch a pass okay now go to edit profile and create a small circle here now let's go to ref level and move this to this part copy it with array and linear click on this part and this part and give it a number like this Now for the last part which is these ropes, we can either use extrusion or sweep. Let's go with extrusion for now. Go to ref level 
and select extrusion create a circle here in this part and move this up now rotate it from this part toward here you can also rotate it from here select rotate and place it here and rotate it from this part to this part okay now you can either use array or copy for this but i'm going to use copy so i can control it better this might take a little time but if you do this for this part you can use this for other parts Now select them and go to ref level from here and double them. Okay. Select them and and use mirror to copy them. Now we're going to do the same for this part and also we're going to model one of these series for here. Well, I think we did it. So yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if it was useful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.